Hey guys, welcome to Elevate Online. I'm Pastor Derek. So glad you joined us for this special Elevate. Um, it is our Christmas episode, and it is also our last Elevate of 2020. Can you believe it? It's already uh, that time of the year. I want to remind you of our Christmas schedule that's been adapted again. Thank you for being adaptable uh, with all these different changes. Um, one, of the, one of the things is Elevate Online is moving back to Wednesday, and you already know that because you're watching this, and uh, that means we're moving... Christmas drive through extravaganza to tomorrow to Thursday night from 7 to 8 uh, p.m. And uh, so I encourage you to come out, uh, drive out uh, anytime between 7 and 8 p.m. You don't get out of your cars or anything. You stay in the car and uh, we're going to have some awesome surprises for you in that. Um, one of them is you get to pick up your special edition Elevate long sleeve t-shirt. I'm wearing mine. They're pretty awesome. We have one for every student that comes. And um, also you're gonna get a chance to win, spin the prize wheel, uh, win some awesome uh, you know, uh, prizes that way, and some other things as well. So I encourage you to come on out between 7 and 8 p.m. Again, that's tomorrow, Thursday um, from 7 to 8 p.m. And the reason we changed them is because tonight, you may have noticed on Wednesday, it is just a rainy mess. And so uh, that was gonna make it a little bit tough for us. And so we wanted to move it to a day that's supposed to have a little bit better weather. And uh, so I encourage you guys to come on out to pick up your Elevate t-shirt and also a chance to win. You remember that we were doing this, our 12 days of Christmas ornaments. And uh, that's one of the options in the prize wheel and as well as a bunch of other stuff. So great chance to see you guys before the end of the year and uh, but also in a safe way, um, uh, socially distanced that way. And then the following weeks, the 23rd and the 30th, we won't be having Elevate. This is our normal weeks to not have it. Uh, we don't have Elevate the week of Christmas or New Year's. We will be back on January 6th and we'll be letting you know whether that's in person or online. All right. Speaking of staying informed, uh, we want to remind you to uh, text Elevate Students at 31996. You'll receive text updates with things going on. Uh, follow us on Instagram, LNC underscore Elevate and also ElevateParents.org. That's not just for parents. It's just a great way to stay informed for everybody. I encourage you to check that out as well. Well, let's get into something awesome. Our second ever food madness. Let's get into it. Welcome everybody, this is Food Madness. I'm excited, this is our second one around. Uh, we're doing Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts? Yeah, I haven't had one in about four years since like my senior year of high school. Well, you're gonna make up for it today. Cause we are trying 16 different flavors. These are flavors that we were able to find in the stores. And uh, we, we uh, I think got, you guys, some of you guys voted on what you think is your favorite. And I think we got almost all of them, except for, didn't you say your favorite was Beats? I think you commented Beats. Ah, Beats, yes. Oh. Yeah, uh, so we couldn't find that one. And also I did not pick any of the crisps or the minis or the uniced ones. Cause I felt like the ones without icing just wouldn't have a chance. Gross. Yeah, random story, my dad always liked the uniced ones cause he thought they were healthier. Um, which they probably were healthier, but still not healthy. I mean, yeah, they're Pop-Tarts. We'll, we'll even encounter a healthy Pop-Tart along the way. We will. Yeah, and it has icing, so tell your dad. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited uh, for what this is going to look like. Yeah, this is great. We put them, like last time, we took 16, put them in a randomizer, and the algorithm randomly put them together. There are some weird ones together. I'll be honest, uh, that will be interesting to see how this lands. We're gonna choose them of uh, the first eight rounds of the first 16, and then uh, four rounds with the uh, eight, and then two rounds left for the final four. And then the championship, you guys are gonna decide who's the ultimate champion on Instagram. Look in our Instagram story after this video. You get to vote and then we'll announce it later this week who the winner is. I'm excited, I see Cherry going far, so I can't wait for everyone to Join us in this. I hope. That's my favorite. You're ah. just saying that to be nice to me, right? I am trying to be nice yeah. to you. Yeah, all right. So, dude, let's eat some Pop-Tarts. Let's go for it. I already feel it in my stomach. All right, round one. All right, round one. Cinnamon sugar versus hot fudge sundae. Mm. Have you ever had hot fudge sundae, like the actual Pop-Tart? No, I've actually probably only ever had one hot fudge sundae ever. Dude, hot fudge Sundays are good. So but I, I don't have big hopes for this one, but let's start with the classic. Do you want to start with that one? Let's start with the classic. Yeah. So brown sugar cinnamon, which actually a lot of you said was your favorite. Yeah. Um, on Instagram. I'm a big fan. 
Yeah. So I'm going to keep breaking in the middle and uh, taking a bite right out of the middle. It makes sense. Yeah. So, so you need this, everything. Say, yeah. Uh, wow. It's been a long time since I've had this one. When mm. I was younger, I used to hate on it, but I love it. It's good. It is so good. This is one of your favorites, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is my favorite. Yeah. Oh, it's quality. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. I feel like it's going to be really different with a hot fudge. Look at that. It's like gooey white. That's scary. All Actually. right. I'm going to break it so I can bite it in the corner here. That's not bad. It's better than I anticipated. I think it would be better on a toaster. Yeah. Oh, and we didn't tell you the rules. We're not toasting any of these mm -hmm. um, because it would take too long. And also, like, yeah, we're just going to go raw. And actually, that's how I normally eat them, though. I'll be honest. I don't toast them. So. Yeah, yeah. If you ever mm -hmm. want to know the story, please ask them. It's yeah, it comes comedic. down to when I was a kid, I accidentally caught our kitchen on fire with a Pop-Tart. It was awkward. All right. So, anyways, we so what, 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 what is your decision? I mean, I'm voting just because of pure nostalgia. I like this one the most. I think I, this one, I agree with you because this one I think is good for the first bite, but I don't think it'd be good the whole thing. Mm -mm. It's too much. So brown sugar, moving ahead. Next round. <laughs> We're off to a good start. <laughs> All right, so round two, what do we got, Noah? Um, so we have our uh, cinnamon roll, never had that, frosted, and mm -hmm. then we have chocolate pretzel. Yeah, so two interesting ones. I've had yeah. cinnamon roll. I'm guessing these are probably better toasted, I'll be real. But yes. I've never had the pretzel ones. This, no. I'm excited for this one. Yeah, let's do this one first. You wanna do that first? I'm excited, um, I've never had this. Now this is specifically chocolate because we have another kind of pretzel coming up later, so. Yeah. Oh man, there's like looks like salt on it. What is this? Doesn't have the crunch factor I expected. No, it's not much different. Except for the salt. That's the only difference. All right. Mm -hmm. They're good. Yeah, it's but they good. don't taste like a pretzel. This is horrible branding. Like, I don't know how that's pretzel. It's less crumbly. That's true. That's a plus. Add yeah. a plus to the column. I, I, yeah. It just, it looks like a pretzel. See that? Kind of. And it or, looks like a prettier Pop-Tart. It, yeah, it looks like they really cooked it. Have you ever seen like those Pop-Tarts at, at like coffee shops, like the fancy hipster like mm -hmm. Pop-Tarts? I've never yeah. had one, but they kind of remind me. They're great. You should get one. I should. I need yeah. to find a place yeah. that has They're it. They're in Annapolis. Ooh. Yeah. Anyways, let's go, <laughs> to, let's go to Cinnamon Roll. We like to have like side conversations like you would normally have off camera, on camera. Yeah, right? that's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's how we do it. So Cinnamon Roll. It tastes like a cinnamon roll. It does. I think the crust is made differently for the cinnamon roll. Not hardcore than a normal one. Do you think so? Yeah, I agree. Maybe it's the texture. It could Cause be. it kind of, they swirled it. I don't know if you can see, but they swirled it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, well, this is tough for me, but I, I have an opinion. I have a, well, that's what we're here for is our opinion. I put so. your hand over it. That's true. Yeah, Three, let's do Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh, so we agree. Oh, okay. Cinnamon roll feels like it's fulfilling what it promised. This it's a cinnamon roll. Hurt my feelings. <laughs> we cannot let something that hurts your feelings move on. No. It's so not a pretzel. We're, it's not it's a pretzel. good. It's good. I took yeah. multiple bites out of it. Uh, yeah. Which I need to pace myself because we're only on round two. But yeah. So there we go. Cinnamon oh. roll move, moves forward. All right, here we go. All right, so round three, what do we got? Uh, we got Sam, and you're with Sam. I'm with Sam, so they had printing on them. Yeah, this is the Fruit Loops. Oh my gosh, smell it. It smells like it's Fruit Loops. It's so strong, it smells like Fruit Loops. And then we have that against, uh, we have cookies and cream. Yeah. So let's, let's, yeah, you're already into it, man. Yeah. Man, oh my gosh, it's pink. <laughs> is this Sam's blood? <laughs> That's so morbid. All right. The smell is stronger than the taste. Yeah, no. Did you notice that? Yeah, this tastes like I'm eating them out of the box. I like them with milk. Yeah, and they're actually not bad. No, they're not the worst. But 
I don't know if I'd be able to finish a pack. Like I don't a, like know if two. I can finish one. Yeah, yeah, probably not. All right, let's go on. I need to cleanse. Cookies and cream. Look at that. It's like an Oreo, but not officially an Oreo, just cookies and cream. Yeah. So there we go. I don't really like this one either. Oh, it tastes like, you know, those really cheap, but not a, not good chocolate cookie sandwiches. Yeah. yeah. That's what it tastes like. Chocolate cookie sandwiches. Yeah. It doesn't taste as good. Because they can't be Oreos yet. Yeah. Well, no, they don't taste like Oreos. They and they always have that little be hole in the middle that shows the icing. Just <laughs> that shows I'm not an Oreo. <laughs> I'm not an Oreo, but yeah. here's icing. I... Ah, this is tough for me because I this tastes better than you this. Think? But I don't think it will taste good for more than two bites. I'm I'm voting. Uh, let's let's go straight into it. Three, two, one. I don't know. So I'm you gonna know, go with you. Honestly, I'm going to because I think they both suck. Yeah, I think this one deserves. It. He bought this at five below, where it should stay. Um, probably means it's probably outdated. No, it's not. Still till 2021. Wow. Um, but uh, yeah, I think they both suck. So I'm gonna go by what you want: cookies and cream. Moving forward, but you don't deserve it. So next round. Here we go. So we've got two heavy hitters this round. We've got wild berry and then s'mores, both frosted. And what's crazy about this, Derek, is that when I was a kid, I remember seeing these on Look advertisements. At this thing. Yeah, it looks cool. It's aesthetically pleasing. I remember like when these came out. I do remember it was a big deal because back then I don't think Pop Tarts had a thousand flavors like they do now. And this no Fruit Loops, <laughs> yeah, probably for good reason. Um, but like, man, it's so pretty and the inside is even a different color. So yeah, I'm, and it tastes really good. It's what I remember. That's quality. Mm -hmm. But you were saying you haven't had, you don't, you haven't had pop tarts as a whole in a while. Have I haven't you? had pop tarts in about three years. Wow. Since Probably because, you know, you reach a certain point where you don't want cookies for breakfast. Cause let's be honest, these are basically cookies, mm -hmm. which no judgment. That's awesome. But Sometimes you go, maybe I shouldn't have cookies every morning. Wow. Okay. But Sit s'mores are completely different, but still both of these are in my top of, of, of pop tarts. Yeah. Look I at that. Don't know if I've ever got had the this. fudge, got the marshmallow and the whole, uh, thing is graham cracker. It is. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. You don't look convinced though. All right, let's get, let's let's both. Mm, give me a second. To trail. This is hard, man. Okay, you. This will probably make no matter what we do. This is gonna make somebody mad. But let me say, both of these deserve to go to the next round. Unlike cookies and cream last round. <laughs> let's let's actually put both of these in and take out cookies and cream. We I can't do that. that but. No. All right. So three, two, one. Oh, really? Uh huh. You, I think it's way better than Wildberry. See, I was actually going, they're both almost equal, but something about s'mores is so different. The fact that they made it graham cracker, this one just looks pretty. It tastes fine, but yeah. that's a hitter. Yeah, it deserves Which, it. by the way, I didn't mean to touch your hand. We need to go sanitize now. Yes. Oh, so, I so. burn my hand off. S'mores <laughs> is in the next round. Yep, next round. All right, so we are in the next round, the fifth round. I tell you what, just going back to fourth round, I feel like we're gonna get like flack for that one. Cause no matter what we did, s'mores and wildberry, we would've made someone mad. I know Sarah's gonna be upset. Sorry, cause, Sarah. Cause her favorite's wildberry and it deserves to be. Let's yeah. be honest, it deserves it's, to be. It's a good 8.5 out of 10. Yeah. But there's some others I'm looking at the list right now don't deserve to be in the next round, but it's just, what are we doing for this one now? Uh, well, it seems that we're going frosted. Both are frosted, uh, strawberry milkshake and chocolate fudge. Um, so let's go ahead, dive into strawberry milkshake, which doesn't look, neither of these look good. Uh, have you ever had the milkshake one? No. Me neither. Whoa, so pink. It's gooier though than the pink in the Fruit Loops. Yeah, I feel like it's, <laughs> this food coloring is barely FDA approved. <laughs> It's not bad. It's like they tried to make a creamy strawberry. Like you could tell their typical strawberry flavor. I taste the cream. And I don't know if I like that. 
I don't know. I think yeah. if you want cream, it's good, maybe. But I don't know. I'm not sold. And I don't know if you guys know this, but Derek's favorite. Fudge. No. Now, I haven't had it in years. I hated it. It was my brother's favorite, but I hated it. It looks like poop. It does. <laughs> it's just, it's too much. But maybe, maybe it's changed. <coughs> I don't think it has. <laughs> This is another round where I don't think either one deserves Ooh. to move forward. Yeah, no. There was only in that that was disgusting. As that has a cheap fudge aftertaste. Yeah, processed fudge aftertaste. Um, I'm upset because... Who I, eats this for breakfast? <laughs> you'd be taking a nap by 10 o'clock. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> not a bad day. That's not a bad it's day. It's not a bad day. <laughs> so... Um, this is another run where the randomizer really, I think, screwed things up because neither one of these deserves to move forward. Mm -mm. So, so three, two, one. Well, I don't, I, I'm not going to fight for it. It's fine. This one was less disgusting, which I can't believe I'm saying, but there was this a one... piece of soggy bread in that, I think. <laughs> so I'm not going to like fight for it. So if you feel like that one, we'll move ahead with the milkshake. There you go. Milkshake moves forward, but... You don't deserve to be there. No. Get out you're, of here. You're not good. <laughs> Next round. So round six, what do we got, Noah? Uh, well, basically, we have another pretzel, one of those hitters, and then we have a strawberry frosted hitter. This is a classic. This thing is the original Pop-Tart. Probably not. Who knows? Um, I wasn't there, so I don't know. Yeah, same. So let's just dive into the pretzel. It's, you want to do the pretzel first? It was a this lot. Last ooh, time. I have more salt on this one than the last time. These look so pretty. Yeah, these are beautiful. I want to buy like, them just because... Uh, that was crunch! Oh! What? Okay, let's... It tastes the same as brown sugar cinnamon. I don't know, if you... Yeah. Like, hold on. But you could tell it has a different crust. Yeah. You just look... I was trying to get the salt. I was trying to... <laughs> It's really like my a, bad. Like a, uh, going up to a salt I'll take block the, I'll, like a cow. I'll, I'll take the blame on that one. Uh, um, <laughs> it's better than the chocolate, but it's still lying to us about what a pretzel is. Yeah, I don't like soggy boys. All right, strawberry, classic. Mm. It's very odd going straight. I should have... Cinnamon and strawberry is weird, but I can tell. I think I, that's good. We that's have good. a clear winner here. <laughs> it's it's this one's not hard. We have the pretzel one. <laughs> Kidding? <laughs> no, get that out of here. I okay. I wanted to like the pretzels. I wanted them to be the wild card that won it all because I like the idea of it. But they flopped on it. And they're not salty. I licked them. <laughs> yeah. So strawberry moves forward. Next round. In round seven now, uh, we didn't write the last one on the bracket, but it's okay. Uh, we're in round seven. Uh, we're going to go right in. We have in. a bracket we're looking at. If you're wondering what he's talking about. Our bat, really. <laughs> uh, they see it. We're going to digitally put it in. Yeah, what do we have here, Derek? All right. So we have Frosted Confetti Cupcake. And I feel like these are like different ends of the spectrum. This is probably processed in crazy colors and all this stuff, fake stuff. Simply Frosted Orchard apple cinnamon i'm excited about this one apple i don't know if i've ever had an apple but simply i guess means it has no high fructose corn syrup no artificial flavors no artificial colors which is why it's white yeah it's really plain i thought it was a take on minimalism but i read too far into the lines yeah so, so. let's try this one i'm excited for this one looks like cinnamon actually because the apple mm. smells like apple mm -hmm. i just you're not a fan I don't like apples. Like, I like apples, but I don't like apples baked into things. Yeah. And that's personal bias. I like this. I think if you did, you'd like this. I think I would too. I mean, I could taste it and how it'd be good. Yeah. Um, and I taste the fresh. I'd really like to toast it, but we're not doing that. Yeah, because you'll burn the house down. Uh, <laughs> wow, I was 12. You let it go. Oh, yeah. I do. Uh, I, let's, go, let's go the other that end. That one spectrum. deserves. I bet, I bet you these are fake coloring. Yeah, I, when I eat a Pop Tart. Oh! It's white inside. And white, oh. 
Okay, this is disgusting to me. Uh, it's like you took nasty frosting, you know the stuff from those cheap cupcakes? Yeah. Well, yeah, cupcake. And well, put so it in there. But you put the nasty one in there, and you just put it in crust. And then let it age. Ferment. <laughs> it <was laughs> That's gross. what it is. I don't want fermented sit, ice. Let thing. it sit yeah. in there. So I have a clear winner for me, but uh, what do you think? Yeah? yeah I don't like apples. You know this has to be bad it. if you're going with apple. Yeah, yeah, I don't like it, but this is the worst. Who eats this for <laughs> it's breakfast? So, it's so bad. I haven't had one in like four this, years. Like, this has to be, school. this might win the worst one we've had. Wow. Do you think so? Yeah, I'm throwing this away. Uh, yeah. We're on to the next round. Yeah, apple moves forward. <laughs> Couldn't even wait. <laughs> Welcome to round eight. Eight! Yeah, so this is our last one of the first round mm -hmm. of the mall of the Sweet 16. And man, we have really two v that are in this, I would say, the same category of each other. They're both and, hitters. And two classics. We have blueberry, straw, uh, and excuse me, cherry, which are two that deserve to be here, unlike that nasty cupcake we just ate that oh. deserves to be in the trash. Um, yeah, so which one do you want to go first? Let's man? let's go this one. It's on your top, so we're going to go... Um, yeah. I'll be real. If once in a while I'll get a Pop-Tart, this is the one I get. Cherry. Ooh. Cherry. I love strawberry flavoring and most other things instead of cherry, but when it comes to Pop-Tarts, something about their cherry. It's okay. Right? Really? Yeah. It's unique than all the others. I'm a huge... Unique? ...fan of the cherry. This is also the same flavor... That caught on fire in my toaster when I was 12. I think this is why you have a connection to it. You heard flames and yeah. you said, what is that smell? Oh, that's burnt. Oh, now, blueberry, respectable. Good. I... Mmm. Okay. I don't even need to talk about this. I have my pick. All right. This could be interesting. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> So, we are gonna have to go into a tiebreaker. Tiebreaker time. Alrighty, so for the tiebreaker of blueberry versus cherry, I'm willing to fight for cherry, because cherry's my boy. I will go down for blueberry, uh, yeah. because I know it kind of well. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of a little yeah, bit we're acquaintances. So, we are going to throw some hatchets, axes, axe, I axes. It says axes. Yeah, axes. We're at the target. Axe Closest one. One shot. How many shots we get? We get one shot, and if you miss it, it's already good. We'll be yeah. kind. It's like Hamilton. Kind of courteous. One shot. Yeah. Don't want to miss it. Don't want to miss your shot. One shot. All right. Pop right. culture reference. Twenty fourteen. <laughs> uh, all right, and I'm gonna move it off screen. Sorry, yeah. guys. So I'm gonna go first. It. We have not tried it from this angle or this. You, some of you guys who are at uh, our lumberjack night remembers this awesome thing that we get to play with. All right. So I'm standing like. See this bar right here, dude? So I'm standing here, all right? All right, go for it. All right, I'm nervous because I'm on camera and I only get one. Yeah, you'll be fine. All right. Wait, should I move? Let me move the camera. All right, um, this well, is- Do you want to wait to show it till after? Oh, okay, well, that's true. Okay, go ahead, throw it. All right. Oh, okay. Look, we're going behind the scenes here. Look, okay, so mine is this one. And yours is that one. <laughs> um, ah, crap. Yours is more... Mine's almost all the way in. Well, it's the handle, though. Oh. But, all right. Mm. As much as I hate to say it, uh, I guess why? technically you barely won. Barely. Barely. So that means Cherry moves forward. And we're oh, oh, disrespect. All right. All right, so we are in the next rounds. We've had our first eight rounds, and oh, hey, dude. Oh, hey, uh, I was, I, I needed the change. Uh, nice shirt. I, nice shirt. What? Quick commercial. You can pick yours up at the drive through extravaganza tomorrow night from 7 to 8 p.m. Be there, be square. That's my, okay, yeah. anyways. So, you look, you're looking good, though. Elite eight, yeah. elite eight. All right, so, you feeling good? We've done, no. we've, we've eaten 16, 16, we've eaten uh, Pop-Tarts, well, bites of them, and uh, we're feeling, uh, we're feeling good. Ah! 
We got eight more, uh, well, four more, six more rounds, excuse me. I don't know, math isn't my strong suit. Yeah, we're in youth ministry for a reason. How are you, how are you feeling about the lineup we have next? Uh, well, for this, I'm excited. I think some of the other ones shouldn't have made it. Oh, I'm bitter. Apple. I'm um, bitter that there is a milkshake and not cherry in the next round. Oh no, cherry. And cookies and cream. Don't deserve it. Anyways, we'll get to that. All right, so first we're Anyways. gonna start out with the brown sugar. We have brown sugar and cinnamon roll. Um, here we go. Very similar to each other. Yeah, yeah. Except, actually. of course, you know, visually very different. Hey, Classic. You said this last time I bit into it. I expected it to change. Wouldn't it be funny if we randomly toasted some and didn't tell the other person? <laughs> I'd pee myself. That'd be so funny. And I'm sorry that I went so deep on that. I was really... Look, I bit that much out of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Why are you sorry? That's 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 uh, respectable. Mm -hmm. uh, you're probably not going to feel great. No, it's going to feel so gross. It's like a shark bite in a surfboard. Anyways, we keep going. <laughs> I, I know what mine is, but I don't know if you'd feel the same way. All right, and we're going to vote in three, two, one. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Cinnamon roll. I know this is some of you guys' favorites, but this is good stuff. It's a hitter. All right, next round. So, next round. Uh, cookies and cream and s'mores, and, uh, well... Yeah, we're not even opening the package. We're yeah. leaving it in. That's how much we know. S'mores is so much better. Moves on. Cookies and cream, get out of here. I don't want to eat it anymore. Yep, next round. Right, so next round, we have the Battle of the Strawberries. Yeah, so I think the best way to go about this is starting with normal strawberry and Ooh. going to the more creamy version. The milkshake. All right, classic. I'm guessing was the first one. I'd be surprised if it wasn't the first flavor they ever made. It's good. Even this deep end of the round, still good. Mm -hmm. It's not no cherry. Cardboardy. What is it at all? Oh my gosh. Watch this. Some people think that's like tasty. Yeah, watch this. It's gross. I thought this was the middle. Look, no, no, do you see how goo, like, it's, I don't know, it feels fake gooey, like, just. Yeah, it feels like glue. I, uh. You didn't have to perfect on this, in my opinion. No, what are your thoughts? I mean, to this, I don't this, think either of them are winners, but I think. Of this round, there's a winner. Yeah. But this tastes like you took a strawberry and you tried to shove that nasty cupcake into it. Mm. Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so obviously strawberry, classic strawberry, moves forward. See you next round. All right, so the final of the final eight. Yeah, elite eight. Is that what you call it? Yeah, sorry, not a sports guy. <laughs> Can you tell? I am. Well, barely. I'm a sports guy, but not basketball. Yeah, so, I understand. Yeah. Big basketball guy, but I know. we know that. Yeah. Um, let's dive right in. I think we should start with this one because this one is so clean i feel like we should wait yeah so blueberry and apple so a classic blueberry i'll call that one a classic this one not a fancy like weird flavor but yet i don't think they've had apple very long no but this you could smell it you can't smell this no you can only smell crust on the blueberry but the apple i would almost say that the smell might be almost stronger than the taste uh, i would agree yeah all right blueberry you said right This one's, are you too much sugar down or just good? No, I was just taking a little, mm, like, mm, pet posture. Blueberry brings it. It's Blueberry. respectable. It's good. It Undisputed, it. undefeated Rocky Balboa. Now, should it have beaten Cherry? That's left to be decided. But it did beat Cherry, so we're not going to dwell on that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But I kind of am, I guess. <laughs> Someone's upset. All right. So this one's healthier. I did not say healthy. Healthier. There's no way you can make a Pop-Tart <laughs> no healthy. healthy. Uh, uh, Pop-Tart. It's an interesting apple flavor. It's a legit one yeah. to me. It tastes realer than anything. It's strong. Yeah. It's very strong. 
Is it cinnamon or just apple? Apple cinnamon. Is it cinnamon? I taste. I can't taste cinnamon. a lot of cinnamon. It's really just it's mostly uh, apple. Yeah. I think we should vote. I know. Give you some time. <sighs> Three, two, one. Yeah. So apple is really good, but I I already in the next round the taste is so strong. I think it doesn't have lasting. Like I wouldn't yeah I wouldn't be able to eat a whole one. It's also really it's a lot sweeter. Oddly enough, even though it has less corn. I want to taste stuff. the corn syrup. I want to feel it getting lodged in my intestines. There's a reason I eat pop tarts. Yeah, it's not for health. Yeah, okay, there's so a reason I haven't eaten them in four years. Thing. A few weeks ago, I tried one of those organic pop tarts. Like not a pop tart brand, but like you know another brand. Yeah. Organic, all this nasty, mm. nasty. If you're gonna go healthy, eat fruit. Just like legit fruit. Yeah, Don't, dude, don't cheat so, it. Just hop on the vegan train, man. I'm not vegan, by the way. Yeah, well. All right. So blueberry moves forward. Bye bye, Apple. So here we are, Noah, the final four. And honestly, I think it's been messy getting here. Yeah. Some of these just well, well, <laughs> okay, not just the crumbs and our, the state of our stomachs. But also because some of these rounds were interesting. The pairings made some get out early that probably should have made it further. And some of them that made it a little bit probably didn't deserve it. But I'm actually, I think all four of these deserve to be here. I Well, I agree. I can't yeah. see one that doesn't deserve it. Yeah, so uh, tell us, what's in our final four? Uh, so in our final four, we have cinnamon roll s'mores. This is starting us off. Next round is strawberry blueberry, which is really funny. We have non-fruit, then we go fruit. So it'll be non-fruit versus fruit in the end. Which fits, because we didn't put them in the categories. Yeah. I considered that, but we would just went total random. And then, but now we have <laughs> yeah, total. This one. All right, so we're going cinnamon roll versus s'mores, which this is this is a toughie. Let's go straight into s'mores. S'mores. Mm. Now this was your first time having it and it was kind of a revelation for you wasn't it yeah it was look at that cross section also so pretty yeah it's great has the prettiest look of all of them cross section wise i agree but go mm. i don't think there's another one like s'mores no s'mores is wonderful. it's so unique because mm. all the others are kind of renditions of a similar but because they do the graham cracker they do the fudge and the And it looks like zebra stripes? Yeah, man. That's crazy. But cinnamon roll is a newer one, but Maybe. it holds up. Undisputed, undefeated. So, cinnamon roll is good. Wow, yeah, it is. It's very good. However, I feel like this tastes more processed and fake version of what it is than this is my thought it's not bad it's not too much but just meaning this tastes not like a like full-on s'more but a s'more thing that's my only thought they both taste good to me mm. they're both good this is very good but to me i think uh i'm just gonna say i think s'mores is it for me i think cinnamon roll is for me all right are we going back to the axe throwing um Yes. <laughs> I like the dramatic pause. All right, back to the axe throwing. All right, so we're back to the axe throwing to the target. We're actually gonna keep the target here and we're actually gonna stand behind the camera and throw it, give you a little bit more of an angle. You won't be able to see us, but let's be honest, we're not probably the prettiest thing to look at. So if you're gonna like the angle, Noah's gonna go first because I went first last time. All right, so dude, let, me, let me get out of the yes, way. Sorry, my bad. Woo! my bad. All right, so this is Noah's throw. Oh, all right. All right, my turn. Yeah, it's all you. All right. Yay. So does this mean, uh, so basically what this means is s'mores wins, cinnamon roll doesn't. On to the next. Next round. Oh, here we are, Noah. Here we are. It says it's a good source of three B vitamins, and I didn't know there was more than one B vitamin. <laughs> I don't know what that. Okay. Anyways, this has something in it. So yeah, isn't B the one that um, wakes you up? I could be. I mean, I don't remember. Anyways, uh, so we're in the final one. Could we be. are full of sugar and carbs and whatever preservatives are in these things. The final one we're doing because this is to decide who's going to go against s'mores in the championship, mm. and then the championship is going to be decided by you guys because we're done eating. But no, we got I'm one done. more. We got strawberry. 
We got blueberry. We got the berries. Let's, what do you think? What do you want to do first? Well, let's start with blueberry. Blueberry. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Very similar, but yet very different in the color scheme. Mm -hmm. But blueberry, man. You know what? Hmm. What's up? Strawberry has red sprinkles and blueberry has red sprinkles, but strawberry doesn't have blue sprinkles. Are you saying that um, strawberry is more of a hater? I think strawberry is like, ha ha ha, not you. And blueberry is like, ah, I just want to be your friend. I've been trying for years. So I like how we've humanized him. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, blueberry. strawberry. You know, strawberry is a really mean friend, but strawberry is my pick. Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, blueberry, you brought it. It's good. I can't even throw blueberry to the side because strawberry's bullied it enough. <laughs> Glad you made it to the <laughs> top four. We bullied them even more. But strawberry, strawberry's a classic. It deserves to go forward. So there you go. But we're for glad you're here. Yeah, blueberry, good job. Here is the championship. Two classics, in my opinion. Yep, we've got S strawberry. We got strawberry. We, we got s'mores. Them. Two very different, yet two classics. And so you guys are going to decide the winner. So go on our uh, Instagram page in the story. Um, you'll see a poll and you'll get to vote. Is it going to be s'mores? Is it going to be strawberry? Um, or you feel free to comment, I'm not happy with this decision. Which you probably aren't. Because we probably made somebody unhappy at some point in time. Because that's what happens with food madness. But that's part of the fun. Yeah, some might say cinnamon roll deserved to win it all. Some may say Cherry decided to not be knocked out in the last round. And some might say Strawberry's a bad friend. <laughs> well, I don't think we disagree on that. Oh, we, okay. But we get back at them by eating them. Anyways, please vote. Please uh, let us know your <laughs> thoughts. And once we get all those, we'll compile them together and get the final results to you. Yep. Um, so just let us know. We're excited for where this is going to go. Yep. All right. Till next time. See you on the Insta story. All right, so don't forget, go on Instagram. In our story, we're going to post an option for you to pick the winner of the championship. All right? And then tomorrow, we will post a video with the recap and who the winner is. All right? Well, we're so excited to have Noah with us. You saw him earlier, but he's going to come back, and he's going to share the message to conclude our series, Christmas at the Movies. But before he comes, uh, let's take a moment. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this time we can connect online. Thank you for all the students and parents and anyone watching. And I pray for safety. I pray for uh, a blessing in their lives. I pray that you uh, just make yourself present as we know you are and you can. And Lord, may we most importantly open our eyes to you at work in our lives. Open our eyes to what you want to teach us and show us through Noah's message. And uh, Lord, as we have our last Elevate of 2020, Lord, uh, just move in powerful ways and uh, during this season. It's in your holy name we pray. Amen. It's that time. Christmas time is here. Everybody knows there's not a better time of year. Put that cookie down now! You guys give up? Oh yeah, thirsty for more. Wait and see this Christmas vacation This old house Sure is looking good Got ourselves the finest snowman in the neighborhood Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town Santa! That's how it's done on Christmas vacation Look, Daddy, teacher says every time a bell rings, an angel
angel gets his wings. Um, did you miss me? Um, I'm super happy that you guys uh, are able to have me back. I, I love being here. So I'm excited to bring the message today with Christmas at the movies. And so we'll talk about my choice on that later. <laughs> and let's, uh, you guys can laugh at that later. And, you know, let's talk about life. You know, we're going into next year. You know, we have high hopes. 2020 was a hard year. So let's look at, you know, this next year. What I'm most excited about is that, you know, I can maybe get one of my favorite pre-COVID activities back. And that, that's pickup basketball. Um, I really miss pickup basketball. You know, hopefully, you know, some places will screw in the rims again. And I thought it was crazy, you know, looking around and rims were taken down with just backboards. I was like, yeah, but I could... I could still play with that. So <laughs> basically one of my favorite stories of pickup basketball is one of the most humbling stories someone could hear. So this one is, I was down at the Del Mar Park with the double rims and it's so hard playing on double rims because they bounce like crazy. It goes straight to the moon. Um, but I was there with my friend Elijah. He's super tall, super athletic. He's the first pick and you know, we show up and they say, all right, let's make some teams pick. And then I'm the last pick, you know, when you're standing in the dodgeball line and they say, okay, him and then him. And then when you're the last pick, they don't even say your name. They just say, oh, hey, they just point at you, wave your tear. And I was waved at, I was brought there. So, you know, we start playing and you know, I'm playing okay, thinking I, you know, I, the day, night before I watched a guy named Devin Booker score 70 points and I was like, okay, yeah, I can do that too. Um, in a game of pickup, not televised. And so we start playing and I, we start doing really good and we're down by two. And so we're playing to 21, we're down by two. They're at 20 and I believe we're at 18 or 19, we're at 19. And the score doesn't really matter. We just need a one shot to win. They need a one shot to win. And so I'm on the three point line, I'm wide open because I missed some shots this game. Some is kind of being a bit generous. I missed a good amount. And so I'm on the three point line. I said, okay, I could do this. I'm Steph Curry. So throws it to me. I say, game, I shoot it. It hits nothing. They grab the rebound, immediately put it up and we lose. <laughs> so, you know, I wasn't, you know, our first pick, um, like who we're about to watch. If you don't know, the clip I picked is a basketball hero. Um, if you watched the series, he's a basketball hero. He, his name is Michael Scott. And uh, I don't know if you've seen it. He has one of the best basketball stories in all of television. And, you know, he's a guy who wants to always be the forefront of attention. You know, he's the guy who always wants to, you know, be the star. He wants to be the highlight of an entire situation. So we're just going to, you know, dive into that real quick. So just watch this. Now that's not, it's not Christmas theme nor a movie. My plans kind of got changed and well, I'm sorry, Derek. I really should have picked a better one, which you get for having me back uh, after one of the longest semesters ever. So I know it's not Christmas. I know it's not a movie. And I know it's just a TV show of a wedding, a celebration. Christmas is a celebration, but you know, not really a wedding. But what we see is Michael Scott wanting to be the forefront of attention when he's just a background guy. He's not even a groomsman. He's just there to, you know, hey, Michael, can you help out? And he was like, oh, yeah. When then he took that in his head and said, I'm the highlight of the wedding. This is mine now. When didn't even realize the whole point that everyone was there was to just see Phyllis and her new husband get married. That was the whole, that's the highlight. He didn't even see that he was supposed to just be a background player. He was supposed to be a background role. 
So, let's see what scripture has to say about this. Not necessarily says Michael Scott in there, but we're going to dive into Matthew 16, 24 through 26. Then Jesus said to his disciples, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? I mean, this is beautiful, but this seems kind of hard. I mean, especially if you have a mentality like Michael Scott or me, if I have the chance to shoot a last second shot, being the star, being the leading role, not necessarily wanting to accept a background role. So what's hard about this is not wanting to change. I mean, it seems that, you know, we're not ready to give up that last second shot. We're not ready to give up being the highlight of a wedding just because we're pushing the bride's father down the aisle. Instead, we'll go through and possibly make a fool of ourselves. We're not ready to change everything when we don't think of why or how. So, you know, thinking, yeah, my life is good right now, so why change it? Well, it's because your life can get better. Your life can get better. So that's when verse 26 comes into play. What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? I mean, what is the whole point of, you know, being the leading role, or at least in our heads, if, you know, we're just a background role, making a fool of ourselves when God is the leading role. We need to look at, you know, necessarily giving up everything we have. There's no reason to gain the world. We're looking for stuff outside of this world. We're looking towards heaven. We're looking towards all of that. We're looking towards our relationship with God. We are called and we are made to be servants to God, in which is the only way to feel truly fulfilled. I mean, you could tell Michael wasn't f fulfilled at all because he didn't accept his role. He was dragging it down the aisle, looking really silly. Um, me didn't accept my role. I was the last pick. There was no reason I was, should have shot that shot. So we need to recognize that, you know, kind of, background right here. God is the leading role. Um, we are called to be in the background, not the one stealing the show, and that's okay. That's okay. We're there to help. We're there to support, you know, a few passes for me in a game, or Michael Scott, you know, being there to be helpful. He helped the process before he was a little dramatic about it. So let's necessarily look at, you know, I, the background is a great place to be. I mean, do you guys remember when a shark made a live television halftime show of a Super Bowl that was crazy? The Seahawks should have run the ball. My, yeah, that's, that's, he was there and stole the show with just 10 seconds of dancing. He was in the background, but he made this entire show memorable. He was a background, they were a background. And, you know, I don't know if you remember, Katy Perry starts, you know, going up there, put on a great show. They all remember it as Katy Perry's show. But the shark on her left went crazy throwing up every dance move that wasn't practiced before. And the shark went viral, you know, as Katy Perry's shark. You know, necessarily, and I think that's pretty cool. You know, this is not exactly how it can be sometimes. We're called to be, you know, God's backup dancers. Well, dancing, maybe not. I don't think Derek and I should indulge in that. I don't think him and I are the ones who are called to be dancers here. Um, but we're there to be a supporting role to God's show. Maybe the 10 seconds of dancing will draw some, 10 seconds of this small moment will draw some more attention to God, but we're there to just be a supporting role like the left shark was. So that shark was there just to give all of its support. And just like we are when we accept our primary call, which is to be a follower of God. Some could say, yeah, but I still want a starring role. <laughs> I mean, I'm a great leader, aren't I? But scripture has some words about that, actually. Um, if we dive into Luke, uh, you know, chapter 6, verses 39 through 40, it says, he also told them this parable. Can the blind lead the blind? Will they both, will they not both fall into a pit? The student is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully trained will be like their teacher. 
I mean, this isn't literally meaning that if we fall away, we'll walk and all end up in a pit together. It's more of a, instead, if you lead each other farther from God, you'll lead each other to a deeper pit of sin. I mean, we're supposed to be these background roles to God. We look to him as saying, as affirmation, we look to him and say, okay, what do you want us to do? You know, we're supposed to be more like him, who is the teacher. It says, the student is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully trained will be like their teacher. So instead of leading others down a path that doesn't lead to God, how about we be more like the teacher? And well, the first part about being more like someone is spending time with them. Being more like the teacher, who is God, is, well, we would have to spend more time with him. And, you know, basically my parents, I don't know if your parents always say this, but when they didn't want you hanging out with someone, or they're usually right about that, as I learned more in life, um, they taught us, you are who you hang with. Um, so why not hang with God? Why not? be more like God by spending our time with him. So there are plenty of different practices that you can give your time to God just to spend time with him, to learn more about him, to even talk to him. The first one of those, prayer, beautiful time to talk to someone. You can't have a relationship if you don't talk. So tell him, he already knows what's going on in your life, but just have a conversation with him about it. He would love to hear from you. Uh, silence and solitude, just sitting, listening to see if God has anything to say to you. Finding these times of solitude can, you know, calm anxiety, and it's really good. Um, serving, serving with others, you can spend time, you know, doing God's work by serving in your church, serving others, helping your friends in times of need, helping your parents when they need it. There are different ways to serve, and that's what God calls us to do. And maybe even devotions are great for you, starting your morning or ending your day by diving into some devotions. There are great books out there that can help you lead to devotion, uh, lead into devotion. Um, and that also leads into spending time in the Bible, reading this beautiful word that I have put a few of the scriptures on screen today. Uh, reading that can help you learn, you know, how you can be more like God, what God has to say about you and how you should live your life, how you can be more like the teacher and fit into this background role. So what does this look like together? I mean, well, in order to be more like our teacher God, let's start by spending more time with him. I mean, this can be through some of the ways I gave examples of um, or other spiritual practices that you've been just doing for years. And whether you've been doing this for years or not, it's never too late for you to start. I mean, God wants a relationship with you. And maybe... Just maybe, like I said, we're called to be in the background, and that's not a bad thing. And, you know, just like the left shark was there to support Katy Perry, um, let's go with that attitude instead of trying to take a game winning shot we know we won't make, or going towards, you know, taking attention from where attention actually is, such as Michael and the wedding. Attention wasn't on him, but he just wanted it for himself. So maybe my shot my game winning shot isn't the best analogy for that but michael's is so the supporting role is that willing to give their all to make the lead role look incredible and that's what our shark did for us and that's not what michael did for phyllis but as you go into the background don't be like michael he had good intentions but we're here to support the leading role let's not try to make our background role the starring role God is our teacher. He is our leading role. Let's continue to let our actions lead towards him. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us all together in this digital format uh, where we can have food madness. We could, you know, be safe. Uh, these are weird times with COVID, but I'm excited for the day that we can get all back together. I pray that you keep these students safe and, you know, show them how much you desire a relationship with them. Amen. And remember, as this is their last elevator of the year, I'll see you next year. And remember that, that you matter, you belong, and God has a purpose for your life. See you next year.